Hello everyone, welcome back to Pez. This is Kay. Um, I've cut out most of the platforming. It was pretty painful to play, and probably would have been equally painful to watch. Um, I climbed up to this fairy tale tower. I'm in the... whatever this zone is. So, um... So I've climbed up here and found this kind of stone tablet, which has codes on all four sides, but opposing sides have the same code, so I translated it, and it says, Please send help. Trapped in a Fez factory. <laughs> this is why the platforming is painful to watch. This one here says warp room. Again, repeated on the other two sides. Ooh, cube. So I've run across this bell, and it has a symbol on each of the four sides, but only one of them appears in my alphabet. Um, this one here, which is a P. So I don't know what these other three symbols are, so I've written them down. This one I think I might have seen in one of the rooms in the village, so if I ever manage to make it back to the village, I'll check that out. But for now I've just uh, I've just written it down. I should probably write down what order they're in too. So. so here's an interesting bit. I've discovered this kind of platform that has these four shapes on it, like Tetris pieces. Um, it's actually three shapes. This one is repeated. And I've got these blocks that it looks like I can push. I'd like to get all four of them up there and try to, like, build these shapes. How do I do that? Ha! I figured it out. So, I walk into it and then hit, uh... Well, four on my controller. <laughs> I think it's like the interact button. Okay, so there. I got all four up top. So now let's make this shape. Let's put you in the middle. Let's put you on top. I don't know. Let's put you here. Oh, you went on top. Hold on. I feel like I've messed this up already. So both of these shapes have... So if you imagine this is the front, right? So... This has the tall stack in the back, and this has the tall stack in the back, and here it's in the middle. So I've got to get, let's start by having, let's start by putting this block here into the middle. And then we'll put this block on top of it. So those are in the middle back. Now, I need an L here, so one of these has to go on the left and one of them has to go on the right. And I guess it doesn't really matter which one is which. So I'll put this one... Damn it. <laughs> there. Okay. There we go. 
ya. Got a cube. Funny looking cube. You found your first anti cube. For every cube, there is an anti cube. A negative for every positive. Anti cubes are much harder to find than regular cubes. Interesting. Okay. So I think this is done, right? It's got the gold, the gold outline, no symbols. Interesting. Check this out. It's a bomb. You can pick it up and throw bombs by pressing X. But be careful, you can also drop a bomb gently by pressing down and X. Okay. Oh, I have to bomb that door down there, I see. Grab this. I don't even know, like, I don't know what tiny little things could matter. Like, does this symbol matter? Is it a door? It does kind of glow momentarily when I pivot it, see? Like right there. I'll bet that's important. Let me take a screenshot of it. Oh, okay, this is very clearly a puzzle. So, it's like a character with a crown. Now that looks like the, there was like a kingly portrait in the village that that sort of looks like. And then there are two characters with, with fezes, like me. And then there are three people wearing 3D glasses, and then there are four regular people. Or I guess those are like headbands, because the eyes are at the bottom. So it's a pyramid. Okay. Screenshot. So this says, all of time and space and the space outside of space. Does it ever end? Okay guys, so I'm at this clock tower. Let me explain what's, uh, what's happened here. When I first got here, there were four hands on this clock. Um, there was a blue one, a green one, a gray one, and on this side there was a red one. And the red one was moving at, at, like, a second hand's pace. Every second it was ticking. So, there was one of those anti-cube things, like, right over here. And it was kind of appearing and disappearing occasionally. There was also a, a full yellow cube at the top of the clock tower. So I came over here and I hit this, um, I hit this switch, this time switch, and it made these platforms go up. And I got the big cube up here, and the small gate appeared. So while I was standing up here, I saw the, the anti-cube appear and I grabbed it. And the second hand disappeared. So now we have a clock that's got uh, this blue hand, which is a minute hand. I've, I've watched it for like five minutes, and it, it, it is moving in a minute's pace. And we've got this green hand, which I think is an hour hand. And then we've got this gray hand, which could be who knows what, like a day's hand or a month's hand or something. Um... And so the red one disappeared when I got an anti-cube, so I'm curious if I can make the other hands disappear. 
and I'm trying to figure out what it was that I did exactly. I mean, I touched the anti-cube, and that made the second hand disappear. But what made the anti-cube appear? I think it might have been somehow mm -hmm. tied to the second hand. So... So I've been thinking about this a lot. And there doesn't seem to be any way that I can change the hands. They're moving on their own. The, turning this switch doesn't change the clock at all. So... Oh, and when I got here, Dot asked me, what time is it? It's cube o'clock. So it is actually in the real world right now as I play this. 1.19 p.m. So I thought, well, what if this clock has to... Um, like, it can't be that the clock reaches the actual time because it looks like it's updating in real time. So by the time this minute hand gets over to 19, it's going to be like 21 minutes later in real time. <laughs> so the clock is never going to catch real time. So it can't be that. But I don't know how to turn the hand, and I mean, the idea of sitting here waiting for this thing to, like, hit some magical time seems like it, you know, there's, that can't be the solution to a puzzle, to, like, sit here and wait for, like, a full day for the hour hand to hit a certain thing, or to wait for, like, a full week or month or whatever <laughs> for, the, for the gray hand to reach a certain point. So, so, I don't know what to do. I mean, it could be that I'm done with the puzzle. I did get an anti-cube out of it. Although there's still a secret marked. It still says there's a secret here. And hitting the trigger buttons doesn't change the clock, it just rotates the clock. Hitting up and down doesn't do anything. I got this treasure map, too. So the, this treasure map definitely looks like it's showing me something on a level, as does this one. This one I'm still not sure about. Although that maroon symbol at the bottom... It looks... It's, well, it's a rotated version of the symbol that I saw on one side of the bell. Let me write that one down, too. So those are my treasure maps. I don't have any artifacts yet. I have two anti-cubes, and I have eight cube shards. Or eight cubes, I guess. So yeah, you can see that this minute hand is updating in, in real time. Here's a thought. What if it were... What if it were 45 minutes past the hour? Right now. Hold on one sec. Should probably make it 46, just to, because it's going to update. Uh, Alright, so let me set this to... Um, date and time. Let me change this to 146 instead of 122. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Okay, I changed my computer's clock to 146. And now the minute hand is way over here, so I've moved the in-game clock by changing my computer clock. But it... It didn't, um... They still don't match. 
So the in-game clock is always going to be like like 19 or 18 or 19 minutes fast. So what if I try to get the middle hand to point at that blue cube up there? So I went like four minutes too far. So let me back up the clock four minutes. Okay, I backed it up five and no luck. Okay, I need to back up like another couple of minutes. Oh, 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 cube, cube. Oh, wow. Oh, and I died. But I got the cube, and I made the blue hand disappear. So, green hand. Let me advance the hour by... I don't know, four? Yep, and there it is. Finally, we've got this gray hand, so I'm guessing this is going to be the day. So let me, let me add like two days. Oh, that was way too far. Hmm. Oh, we're close. We go another two hours. Okay, we got it. I'm, I'm not sure exactly what that was measuring, but... So we just got four anti-cubes out of that clock. And we've got a gold bar. A, a gold outline. So let me, um... Let me hit this again, and then I'll go up top. Um, there we go. We'll go through the skate. And I guess I should probably set my time back. Whoa. It looks like one of those, like, barcodes. Um. Hang on one sec. I know there's like a, there's a cell phone app that you can use to read these things. Let's see here. Get my camera on it. Okay. Hold on, let me zoom out a little bit. Not found. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. The requested URL RT, like, forward slash RT, RT, LT, RT, LT, 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 RT was not found on this server. Oh, God, this is crazy. Hold on. Okay, wait a minute. Which one is trigger and which one is button? Trigger is got to be this bottom one, so. RT... No, come back. My phone just turned off. <laughs> come back. RT, RT, LT, RT, L, 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 R. Didn't work. Okay. R, R, 
L R L L L R. Oh, that is awesome. Achievement unlocked cryptographer. I really like these like lateral thinking puzzles. I wish there weren't all of this platforming in between them. So is this gold now? No, it's still not gold. But there's no secret. All the only marking is this key. And there's also that thing over there to the right. So there's gotta be at least one, two, three more doors in this area. So let me keep looking. Fireplace, bookshelf. What's in this? Oh, this one's already gold. So I'm just going through the fireplace. No, I'm not. Music. Oh! I'm on a thing. I died. Okay, so I'm on a, a ledge there. Oh, died again. There's like there's invisible ledges here somewhere. So I'm on a pillar. Oh no, go back out. How did I get out there? off the trigger buttons. There's a, there's a way to get out of here. Somehow, I can get out of here. Interact button. Well, I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> I found the secret. I just don't know how to use it. <laughs> 